Hi, here's a video on a sea spray catamaran. This boat has been around since about 1966 or 1967. It's still actively being sailed today and there are many examples around. Approximately 3,000 were built over the last uh, number of years, mostly between the 60s and the mid 80s. Hi, um, here we have our sea spray ready to uh, be set up to go sailing. Um, it's sitting on a dolly, launching dolly, and here at the sailing club we have a ramp where we could easily put the boat in and a, maybe a small beach for beaching while we put the dolly away. And um, the sea spray, this sea spray is not typical of a factory setup. Um, as I've said before, I'll go through a couple of the changes. Um, we do have a lowered bridle. Uh, the forestay is just uh, a shorter stay that's tied up to the top of the tang and just a rope here. This basically is enough to hold the mast up until you get the jib forestay holding uh, the rig. Once the jib's up, it takes the place of the forestay because there's a wire, left wire running in the le uh, left of the jib. Um, we've got our mainsail rolled here and it's all ready to go up. So if you're rolling your sails, uh, I would suggest you do it this way so that you save a little bit of time trying to unfold them. If you've rolled them the other way, it takes a bit of a, a bit of a hassle. Um, on here, we've got a bit of a modification on this boat. Um, I used a, a hook at the top, which sometimes works. And it can be either the ring can be engaged with the hook or um, the... Um, Typical way is just to tie it up and, and cleat the halyard. I did want to add one more thing on this video about uh, all the modifications that have that are done on this boat. Uh, through the years, uh, the 25 or 30 years that this boat was built, it was built by a number of manufacturers and uh, a number of them were in the States and one predominantly in Canada was in Calgary, uh, Glenmore Sailboats. And supposedly there's 3,000 of these uh, in North, and North America and possibly other parts of the world. Uh, they're very lightweight catamaran and they're still fairly, uh, fairly well, <clears throat> fairly good sailors. They're certainly not a slug in the water. Um, if they're properly cared for, uh, they can be a lot of fun to sail and, and easy to maintain. There is virtually nothing of, of dedicated tinker can't fix on this boat. Um, tubing's typically from uh, irrigation tubing. It started off, I think these are were anodized and built by uh, an aluminum company for the, for the uh, Calgary boats. Uh, the other thing, none of these modifications are outside of the class rules for competition. So uh, if you see anything here, um, it's all class legal. The boat, this boat weighs at least 180 pounds. That's the minimum weight uh, all up with, uh, I think with this life jacket. And uh, I think that's the only other thing you can throw on when you're weighing the boat. Um, I think that's about it. Hi, so look forward to a few more videos in the future. Uh, the boat behind me shows a uh, typical uh, sock sail rig, it's a little different than the halyard rigs, a little bit more complicated to set up, but uh, definitely uh, some advantages with that. Uh, we will try to get some more videos out here fairly shortly, and uh, so please look forward to our upcoming uh, items when we get them out.